Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. Yes, the Raw Life Health Show. The reason why I have the words Raw Life Health Show is because I eat a raw food diet. 100% raw vegan diet. Now if you don't know what raw means, that means none of the food I eat is cooked by heat. It's not destroyed by heat. And if you don't know what vegan is, a vegan is somebody that doesn't eat any animals or anything that comes from an animal and they don't talk to anyone who does. No, I'm just kidding. I don't eat any animals or animal products, but I certainly do talk to people who do. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because there's an article that came out today that said the raw food diet is dead and named all these raw foodists that once ate raw foods and now they eat cooked food. And they named me saying I don't eat a raw food diet. They say I eat cooked food and I eat animal products. Uh, and it's just the, the, the lack of responsibility of people that, that, that write this stuff, they just they, they have no idea what they do sometimes and they just do it and it's, it's, it's misleading and that's why so many people are confused about health. As for me, I eat 100% raw vegan diet. Anyone that follows me, I'm very open about my history. I've been on a raw vegan diet now for I would say, I don't know, 18 years, 17 years or so. There was a, a year or two in between there, a couple of years ago, where I experimented with adding a little cooked food and a little raw milk and raw eggs to my diet. Didn't like that and went back to 100% raw vegan. That's my story. I thrive on a raw vegan diet. I, I, I thought it was okay and I think it's okay if somebody wants to eat animal products. I'm not saying you can't do that, but you gotta do, do your diligence and make sure the animal products you are eating or the cooked food you are eating is not very harmful. No processed dairy, uh, no, none of the junk and the, the common things people are eating today. However, it's certainly possible to eat a raw food diet, a raw vegan diet. Now, if you want to do it 100%, that's wonderful. If you want to do it less, that's great as well. What I talk about often is we each have to do what works best for us. And only we can know. But we have to understand how we know what we're doing is working. For example, we can't just go by how we feel. We could all feel great because our body has an amazing power to adapt to what's going on. You know, I know people that, you know, do a lot of bad things and they feel wonderful. But it's more than feeling. We gotta monitor our, our sleep. Are we sleeping, getting good sleep? Is our digestion working okay? And, and, and there's so many other things to determine if what we're doing is working for us. A blood test to determine if we have deficiencies or not is another way. There's so many different ways and that's what I teach is Make sure what you're doing is working for you and forget about what everyone else is saying. Don't follow the leader and because the leader might be doing what works best for them but something else might be best for you. Is the raw vegan diet best for all of us? I think it's the most cleansing. I think it has the most nutrients. I think they're the most easily digested and I think uh, we can thrive on it. However, there are some people in certain situations emotionally, mentally, uh, lack of knowledge and all these other reasons, they will not thrive on a raw vegan diet. So they might need to eat some cooked food or maybe a lot of cooked food. But the key is to, to understand the real principles of health. Not overeating, getting enough sleep, getting fresh air, which includes sleeping with the window open, and enjoying what you do for life. And, and not making up lies uh, or not doing your due diligence and making up articles on the internet about other people, that's not true. That's not going to help. So folks, uh, enjoy what you do. Uh, you know, it, I, it's late, I'm ready to go to sleep. I saw the article and all of a sudden people are emailing me, oh, you know, is it true? It's true. No, it's not true. I don't eat cooked food. And if I did, I've proven to everyone out there, I have no problem letting you know what I do. You know, I don't think cooked food is bad and I don't think eating animal products is the worst thing we can do if we're doing it with wisdom. You know, but I, for me, I thrive on a raw vegan diet. That's the way, that's the way I flow and that's why it's called the Raw Life Health Show. Or do I have to make it more clear? The Raw Vegan Life Health Show. Uh, but, but you know, it, look, if you want to eat animal products, if you want to eat cooked food, then, then go do that. But don't say, well, this person's not doing what they say they're doing if, if you don't know that to be true. And certainly if you say I'm eating cooked food or animal products, you are not knowing that's true because that's not true. And if I was, I would tell everybody why I was doing it and why I was doing it. But uh, now, as for me thriving, you want to see me thriving? You know, check out my other videos. I show what I ate just this past week. I put a video up about what I was eating, how little I eat throughout the day, and how active I am. For those of you that say, oh, 
I'm not active. No, being active is a very important part of health. So I'll get up there, I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot of exercise. You know, I'll use a, you know, we need to stay fit, we need to be healthy, we have to enjoy what we're doing. Do we see this? Do we understand this? Look, it's not about money, it's not about making a lot of money, it's not about, you know, I need a lot of money to eat healthy or eat a raw food diet. No, I did another video recently answering a question. You don't need a lot of money to eat raw food, all right? And, and check out that video I just did. You now, you could spend a lot of money on a raw food diet. Uh, sometimes I splurge, but you don't need to. And you know, grow your own vegetables if you have to. And, and matter of fact, you can't buy food better than if you grow it yourself. So, you know, we need to understand these principles of health. And I would recommend, and what I do recommend is, 75% uh, on average to eat raw, fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Eat something green every day, and I don't mean green M&Ms. I mean something like a green salad, leafy green vegetables, a green drink, or a smoothie, something green every day. And then have your little cooked food, if you're gonna have cooked food or your animal products. Eat your small, your heaviest meal earlier in the day and your lightest meal towards the end of the day so you go to sleep on an empty stomach. I have a book called The Daylight Diet that talks about the principles of the time we should eat our meals and also how much we should eat. And that's on my website on rawlife.com, rawlife.com. And everything on that site to my knowledge is raw and will produce life. So, so, folks, look, you decide what's best for you. Put your questions in the comments below the video. If you see the, the link to the article that says the raw food diet is dead, no, the raw food diet is not dead. You know, even this whole raw food diet, I don't even say raw food diet anymore because raw food today means raw food candies and raw food cookies and raw food crackers. No, I call it live food, the fresh food diet, eating your food as fresh as possible. Fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds as close as from the tree that they were picked to the time they get in your body. That's what it's about, the fresh food diet. All right, the live food diet, live food, that's what we need. So, you know, if anyone has any comments or questions, post them below the video. Did I already say that? Yes. Okay, and I got some more videos coming up, but I just want to assure everybody I am eating a raw vegan diet, and if you like that or you don't like that, uh, that doesn't bother me. It's up to you. You do what you got to do. All right, thanks uh, for checking us out. Have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.